Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the third video in the Python for Everybody series. Uh, in this video we're going to solve the exercises from chapter 4, which is about functions in Python. Uh, so we're going to skip exercises from 1 uh, to 5, which are mostly... Um, there, there's a multiple choice uh, question and there are some others where you just have to run code on the interpreter and we will focus on uh, a bit more complicated exercises where you have to write your own code. So let's get started with uh, exercise six. In this one, we're just going to uh, rewrite the code we, we uh, wrote for uh, the pay calculation script in the previous chapter. And we're going to turn that into a function. Into a function. So uh, we are going to call this function compute pay, and it will take only two parameters, hours and rate. Let's go to the uh, code we wrote last time. Okay, so I'm just going to copy paste this into uh, my new uh, script here. Okay. So what we want to do is. Uh, we want to put this uh, block of code inside of a function uh, because and we will leave out only the input and uh, the getting of the uh, hours and rate from the user okay so this is the part that we want to put inside a function okay let's let's start so how do we define a function in python we just write the keyword def and the name of the function, which we're going to uh, call compute pay, and it will take hours and uh, rate. Okay, and end this with a colon. So these are the two arguments of the function, and we want uh, all this code to be inside the function, so we indent it to the right. Okay, so now uh, if hours is bigger than 40, we do the calculation of overtime, else we calculate the usual way. After we calculate the pay, we have to return it. Okay. So now we have the function uh, compute pay. If you give it hours and rate, it will calculate the pay for you. So we want to uh, move the input from the user after we define the function. Let's go here. So and now uh, we have the defined function. We get the input from the user, uh, hours and rate. And now we want to um, call the function. So we want to calculate the pay. So we will call the function and we'll save the result it returns into a variable pay. So this is how we call compute pay. pay and we give uh, as arguments what we took from the user hours and rate okay and the last thing we want to do uh, we want we want to print the pay so print we'll just say pay and then here okay so let's try this out so we're asking for hours, 45, 10, and we get the pay. So it's pretty much the same thing uh, we did uh, in the last chapter, but when you uh, put the, the calculation of the pay inside a function, now you made it reusable. So you can reuse, you can call this function whenever you want. Okay, so that's it for uh, exercise six. Let's go to exercise seven. Exercise, exercise seven, uh, it's a similar exercise again. We just have to rewrite code we wrote uh, in the last chapter again and then uh, make it into a function. Okay, so we, we want to create the compute grade function which takes a score as its parameter, so only one argument and returns the grade as a string. Okay, let's go get the code from the last chapter. So here is the code. I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay, so again, 
uh, the block of code we want to put into a function is this one. This is where um, all the logic happens, where we check the grade uh, and we give an appropriate letter. Okay, so we will put this into the function compute uh, grade. So we're going to define compute grade here. It's going to take uh, one argument, which will be uh, the score. I, I've called it grade, but so I'm just going to leave it grade for simplicity. It doesn't matter. Okay. And then we're going to indent all of this to the right to make it part of the compute grade function. So um, when we define this compute grade, it has to return uh, a letter. So in this case, when the uh, grade is less than 0 or 1.0, we just have to print the score is out of range. And for the others, we return the appropriate letter. We can do something like this to uh, edit this fast. OK. I'm just going to uh, remove this print and do a return. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now I have to edit my return statement. OK, so what uh, this does is the same uh, like, we, like we did before, but instead of printing the letter, we have to return it. OK, so um, now after we define the compute grade, we have to call it and use it uh, and also get the input from the user. So again, I'm going to move this block of code to the bottom. So we define the function first. Now we have the same. We try to get uh, the grade from the user, except something, uh, an error happens. We print a bad score and we quit. But if we get a valid grade, then we have to uh, calculate the return grade and print it. So we're going to call compute grade. And we're going to give an input the grade we get from the user. So this will return us uh, the letter. And, and then we have to print it. Let's try this out. So if we enter the score 0 0.95, we get an A. OK, so if we uh, get something like 1.1. Oh, sorry, I have to run it again. So we get a score is out of range. Um, so. Ah, why, uh, if you are wondering why it prints this none here, it's because um, for this case, we return nothing. And um, so it's better to maybe uh, make this also into a return. So now, if we enter 1.1, it just prints a score is out of range. OK, um, so all we did here is we put uh, all the uh, if and elif statements inside a compute grade function, which returns a letter. It takes a grade as an argument, and it returns a letter. So this makes it, again, this code reusable, so we can call this function whenever we want. And the other part is the same uh, as we did in the last chapter. OK, these were the only two exercises for this chapter uh, that we were going to write code for. OK, thank you for watching. I really hope you find these videos helpful. If you do, please uh, subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment if you have something to ask me.
Uh, also, make sure to check out my Twitter and Instagram. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.